What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday where in today's video, we're gonna be covering how you can create a really cool skull pattern background. We got a good one for you today, so let's go ahead, throw two minutes on the clock and dive right into it. All right, so there's a couple things that you guys are gonna wanna have predetermined before you lay down any paint. In this example, I know that I want a really cool green skull pattern. Since we have this black base, Jordan 1, we need to find a way to get our color to pop on top of this just a little bit. So what we're gonna do first is just mist a little bit of white everywhere where we want our skull pattern to go. After you have that, you can go ahead and lay down your color of choice on top of that white. In this situation, I'm gonna be doing a nice light green on top of that. So the goal here is to lay down the color of the skulls that we want first. After that, we're gonna build all of our black on top of that through the noses, the eyes, and all the contours in the rest of the shape of the head. So we're just about ready to go ahead and grab our skull stencil. After that, we're gonna lay that up against our colored base and then just start spraying in some of the skull pattern one by one with a nice mixture of some bigger skulls and some smaller skulls throughout. One thing that I'll do to create some extra depth with some smaller skulls is go ahead and spray a little bit of extra white and then a different color on top of your green and then some smaller skulls on top of that to really create a nice interplay amongst colors and then you can have some of the really tinier skull pattern laying out on top of that where everywhere you look you're seeing different skulls and then my recommendation when you're spraying this skull pattern is to just do each skull one by one. Don't try to spray too many skulls at once. This way you can have a nice variation in the pattern facing the skulls in any which direction you so choose. Less is more for sure when it comes to laying down your skull pattern and it's definitely a good idea to take a step back, look at the entire shoe and then say, okay, I want a little bit more in this spot or a little bit more in that spot. There's so many different things that you could build with this skull pattern. You can add a vignette on top of this whole thing to give it an even grungier look or you can use it as a simple background, possibly comboing it in with some flames. There's just a lot of different options that you can have, and it's definitely a great tool to have in your arsenal. All right, so there you have it, guys. We hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on learning all about how you can create a really simple skull background. Be sure to let us know how you guys are enjoying these Two Minute Tuesday segments, and if you guys have any other suggestions for us, we'd love to hear them from you. Make sure you give today's video a like, make sure you're subscribed to the page, and we will see you guys in that next video.